Hello and welcome back to Mimus. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. Uh, yep, we're on Mimus and I'm starving again. So, um, yeah, last time we harvested everything. Oh, we're good. Seeds. And we got another crop in. And, um, and now we need to do it again. So, uh, we'll harvest the seeds, harvest the potatoes. If I can get uh, at least 20, uh, 20 potatoes again, I'll be good. Uh, it looks like we've got most of them to go to seed before we starve again. Uh, and uh, oh, yay! I can get me say about 25 potatoes and plant everything else the seed should get me back what I had um, and uh, then everything's good to go that should be should expand my crop and get me back to um, uh, full health again well it might get me back to full health again but it'll get me back to uh, uh, let's call it some health again Uh, your seeds, you just potatoes, you got seeds, you're still potatoing, you got seeds, and you haven't got very far yet. Well, that's not bad. Uh, you seen so I can and all of them still have some left, and I still need a few more pots. All right. Uh, I shall eat all my potatoes off the floor and we're good to go. Hunger caution. That's better. No more alarm. Okay. Now I still have a few more to pick. And um give me good to go. Now temperature's still okay in here. Uh, 16 litres, so I've still got water, uh, so I probably need to re Hunger, reconnect my water and uh, get another batch of water. Fortunately I get some, some, uh, some of my hydration up by eating food because I've got the Plants and Nutrition mod on. Is, uh, if nobody's noticed that's why I can eat so many potatoes and my Food only goes up by a tiny bit each time. Yeah, still got two more. Yeah. No, no. Well, I can wait. Okay. Now, water. Uh, still got CO2. We're still good. What are we doing in here? Uh, a little bit of pollutant doesn't matter. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, pressure is getting high. Uh, that's easy enough to let out. I can just do that and some of it goes out. Easy. Now I'm breathable out here. Power's not great. It's 42 degrees. I might have to chuck a little bit more cooling into this room. And uh, I can continue my experiment with my uh, atmospherics I've got out there. Uh, so I want to find out what gases I can actually expose to the vacuum of space without them freezing solid. And I've got to get my Stirling engine up and running. Can I? I don't have any tank in there. Um, right. Well, uh, switch you on. Can I upgrade the better canisters? If I had some silicon. I got silicon, but I've run out of copper. 
Well, crap, I gotta go mining. Apart from that copper. That's not gonna last very long. Um, well, I can grab a few of these. And. Alright, well, let's just, let's just upgrade all of these while we're at it. Um, probably enough, isn't it? Uh, show you. I want one for my jetpack. That'll do for you. I'm filling my jetpack up with oxygen. You can go up much higher now. Uh, these things can take uh, about 20 megapascals. Now I'll put them up to 15. That'll do us. Remember not to put those things back in there now. Uh, Right, uh, get rid of you, uh, go into there, you can go into there, uh, get rid of you, right, so now you can go into my My jetpack. My, I'm not wearing my suit. Where'd that go? That's over here. No wonder I couldn't find it. It's away. It's where it's meant to be. I know. Weird, right? Uh, you. Into there. You into there. And... Get rid of that one. Right. Let's throw around the pressurized gas containers. Um, right, you lot can have some of that. Shut off my CO2 for a second and then it came back on again. Albeit much lower. You're still not potatoed. Well, we've made progress. Uh, now. Still 91 kilopascals. I'll let that out over here. 64 over this side. Sure, I want some radiators and some pipes. And I shall still 40 degrees. Shall pop in some more cooling out here. Uh, so. We keep that uh, gas in there for the time being. And here we go. Now, if I pop you to layer, same as we did on the other side. And pop some radiators down. Now, what I need to do is put enough of them on to balance the amount of heat that I'm making. And uh, that way I'll have a passive cooling in there at just the right amount. Then I probably need to put a small amount of acting cool, active cooling just to uh, balance everything off. Uh, right, now you... Okay, so we're cooling down to minus 154 degrees. Uh, you haven't done anything. Oh. Now minus 82. You are liquefying. I'm pretty sure that's going to explode. Well, the... Um, that stuff can't handle being exposed to, to space. Uh, I think we proved up there that this one can't handle being exposed to space. Carbon dioxide is still still liquefying. 
that. Nitrogen. This still needs a bit more to liquefy. Oxygen center. Um, so what is the temperature of space here? Minus 151. I think on the moon it went down to about 100 Kelvin. Uh, so. That should be minus uh, 173. Uh, we'll see if it gets there. If it gets down to minus 173, we might have a few other things explode. Will the CO2 survive it? Nitrogen, I think, is pretty good. Uh, let's get some volatiles, because I actually want to... Uh, get a tank of that for my Sterling engine. I have got a 0.12 moles. Might need a tiny bit more than that. So I need an ice crusher. Which I don't have. And a frame to sit it on. Um, here's a frame. Uh, got sheets, need some pipes to hook it up. Uh, I had a crusher. Definitely had a crusher. Here it is. Uh, I've got you. Um, I'll need iron sheets for the crusher. Er, uh, pipes, 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 pipes. They're not the one I want. And at 37 degrees, I've run out of power. I cannot switch that on yet. Uh, so, I want another one of them, the Sterling engine. I'll fill that up with volatiles. I could use something else. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I shall need um insulated. Do they give a no, they don't give a tank holder. Okay, one of them. I shall need a utility. I had some iron, like that one there. One of them and some pipes. <coughs> right. Now I should be able to get some. I need to go mining. I need to get some volatiles. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Um. Uh, so volatiles, better crash that, put that into there. The volatiles I don't need to filter. Okay. Can probably... Um... That was you running out of power. Ooh. Um, right. Going to there. Uh, right, that's all we need. Now, Sterling Engine. Grab. 
you are that away. Ah, shit, I'll need to change the pressure value on that. Oh, I hate that. Right, I need to get me other things in there as well. Uh, you are now uh, you, 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 uh, cutters. That's no, not a cutter. You, you. that and a wrench yep. right now I need to get my writers so as I can just uh, reset the uh, melting temperature on that thing so it doesn't chew up all of my power um, and 36 degrees. Uh, right, writers. I still have them connected here. Um, I can take them. Not with that, I can't. Um, oh. Crap. Uh, here we go. Forty degrees, the temperature is coming down in here. Rider here. Sure, why not? Um, ow. And output there. Input from you. And cutters. You, 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 you. Now, we want to set you to, say, 200, just something below 0 Kelvin or 0 Celsius. 200 Kelvin is that. Output type, type to the ice crusher, input from the memory, and we're setting the setting. That should be enough. Now, these things are all on. I should now just be able to chuck you in there. Uh, that is working. There we go. Now I need to get uh, that. Oh, I probably should put a regulator in there, shouldn't I? That's a lot more that I want. Um, 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 um. So. A lot more than I want. Uh, I have to, <laughs> I think I might have stuffed myself there. Well, anyway, if I put on you, you into there. Yeah, we got a lot. Um, I can get rid of that by um, adding in connecting that to a pipe somewhere okay so if I put you down somewhere it's going to be super inconvenient 
Yeah, grab a spare pipe. Put you down to there. Uh, and I can delete the gas out of it that way. 0.7. is in there. I can't remember how much I need in there now. 60, uh, 70 mole, I think that was about what I needed. Um, I'll see if that works. And I shall grab you as a volatile. Okay. We might be ready for sterling. Uh, I shall need to get power to you. Can I run that in here? Wow, well, shit. Um. Cables. You. I need two more of them. I shall need a configuration cartridge I don't want this thing to explode uh, cutters all right you're good you're good we're all good we're all good here now how are you you Right, we have a pressure. Yeah, it's getting hot in here pretty quick. But we are getting... <laughs> okay, so I need some controller on that. I'm getting 8,000... I'm getting 8 kilowatts out of that one there. So I need something slow that down so as I'm not wasting my heat. Well, 51 degrees in here. Okay, I'll switch that off then. Uh, so maybe I want to put that one outside, put a controller on that one to stop it getting too much heat. So if I close that in a box, can I get enough heat from outside? Enough cooling from outside. So when I when this uh, thing comes out of the box on our regular world, uh, I get, uh, I think I get two, two medium radiators out of it. And a, and a generator. So does that mean that I can just use two medium radiators to cool that thing down? I don't know. But that's what we'll give it a go. If I grab two of them, I have to put them outside somewhere. Uh, I'll make some space. And I'll need steel sheets, which I have there. I might just grab a frame to stick them in. Grab them. I shall need some insulated pipes, which I had right somewhere. Dean, that'll do us. I've got insulated pipes. I want to cool it down. That'll do. So I shall need some radiator uh, 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 vents in here. Vents in here. If I had some iron. And wall it in. Probably a sensor. Um let's go with three vents we'll be generous here because I've got well because basically I've got no idea how much it's going to take to do this uh, 
up in there. A sensor, just so I can keep an eye on whatever's happening in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, there. I probably want a walls, 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 walls. Like walls. I'll do. Put you into uh, there. Should I put a, a weak side in that one as well? I probably should. Uh, or a strong side. Um, <clears throat> yes, I'm dithering. Uh, I need to put in... I'll put an iron window in the back of it again, so if it explodes, it'll explode outside. Um, I need a more flat walls. Wow, I really went nuts with them. Where's the regular walls? That'll be you. You into there. Uh, so I got you, got you. Um, then I need something in there to slow that down. I need a way to switch that on. Um, so I shall need. Fuck you. You. I shall need a logic switch. Um, go to there. Our logic. I O. Uh, so I need to hook the radiators up to the back of that. Logic. I O. One I'll do there. Just need to hook up the output. Power. And can connect up the Sterling engine. On. Nice. Now, connect you up. I should be able to hook up the coolers in the back. There's already gas in the system. All right. So, 39 degrees in here still. Awesome. Now, ah, there we go. Lutons also can't stand the cold, but we've already proven that. Condensation, you may be about to explode. Yeah, real good. You are not condensing yet. Now, I need... Put that there. I cannot put that there. I can pull that back panel off. That's okay. You off and uh, grinder. You off. Right now, I want to put down you. Put down my. 
radiator radiators uh, oh why not let's put you down there Get back that frame <laughs> it's temporary yeah, I know it looks like shit but hey it's temporary And then I should be able to uh, you grab one of them. Uh, I've got to reconnect my water maker, don't I? I'm not going to have enough pipes. Well done. Apart from those ones. If I use those ones, I'll have enough pipes. I hope I remember to bring them with me. Damn ass. should see you starting to cool down uh, if I had the right thing in there ah, there shouldn't be enough water in there we should be fine <coughs> run out of power so I now need to see if that is enough to keep things running. Uh, I probably want to know the pressure that's in there, so I'll grab another... Let's see how we go. Uh, so I want to know... The logic IO so I can read the pressure and now oh, what the hell grab two of them there so grab a um, logic reader you, I just need the input connected and I shall grab another logic reader. I just need the input connected. Uh, so this will be a bit weird, but anyway, it'll work. So I hook up the input um, to that. Yep, you hook up the input and the Power. Right, so you need to read in from the uh, the Stirling engine the pressure. Oh, that's hot. Uh, and you need to read in from the gas sensor the temperature. That's 200 degrees in there. So that is not cooling stuff down quick enough. Uh, do I need to circulate that? Uh, so if I put on a volume pump that will circulate that and see how we go. So if I grab a volume pump with some gold, but that's not gold. Have you?
Right. You. You get power out there again. And then what I gotta do is I gotta suck the gas through the radiators back into one of the vents. At the moment it's just a passive transfer, passive circulation of heat is not doing the trick. Oh, I need power to flow into that one, return on the other ones. That should do us. Thank you out, put you back into there. Into there and there. Just need to get power to I got power there. That'll do us. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it's temporary. Don't worry about it. Uh, back you into there. Right. Yeah, might want to pump that up. Right. So that should now be circulating the air in the box there. Yeah, now that's really cooling down. here um I can't do anything so I don't have my miner okay now our pressure is still high oh that's Kelvin right that's cold that goes up very quickly she's going down that's not, that's going up, that's hot. Uh, okay, right. No, that's not good. <laughs> um, so I need to control the amount of heat coming into it. The volume pump. Temperature's going down now, so I'm going to have to automate that. Uh, right. So I will need to know uh, basically I shall need to find a way to circulate that. How am I going to do that? Um, by stuff happening. That'll be a way to cool down the room. So that is the... Uh, no, you... You're the output there. Uh, I guess I could just grab a valve and... If I put a volume pump onto that and a one-way valve coming out of it. I can then control the amount of gas going in there and make sure temperature in the room doesn't get too high and the pressure doesn't get too high and the power output doesn't get too high because if it goes above 8 kilowatts we're just wasting heat. Uh, so, uh, I might leave that open for a little bit. That's cooling down the room. Wow, is that a way I can cool down the room? Okay, it's staying at 33 degrees. Well, mostly. 
Nice. Uh, new light. Uh, seated. Seed. Seed. I need to make some more pots too, didn't I? Do some more cooking then. Uh, make a few more pots so I can cook them. Okay, so I have got a full crop of plants there now. I think I'm going to be pretty safe, well, provided I don't stuff something up monumentally now. Like running out of CO2, I've still got some in there. Uh, I've got to manually make another batch of that. Still got to solve me power. It's, it's manually faffing around but I can still do that uh, water uh, eight liters I've got to make more water eight liters do me for a little bit there but uh, plants and nutrition mod these things will use a lot more water than normal well they'll use about the normal amount of water not survive on no basically no water like a vanilla game does uh, so, two more. Look at that. Thirty-one and thirty-two percent health. Nice. Uh, I can put up a ceiling. Right. Let's not look like we're savages. Right, now uh, I need more pots. I could probably get some. I don't have any mushrooms. I don't have a trader. Well, don't worry about the mushrooms then. I could fit in another row of pots there and make mushrooms. I need two more pots and um, be good. Uh, hook up the water maker and make another load of water. Oop. Is there pressure in there? Still 90. Um. Okay. Oh, we're down to 27. Sweet. Uh, that is a way to cool down the base, but... Uh, once it gets down to temperature, all that just burst. Anyway. So now I need to wire that up with a volume pump and a valve in there somehow. Uh, a valve. I shall need a volume pump. So, how do I get more cooling in there? Uh, so, uh, could be just because there's too much heat coming in at the moment. So if I restrict the amount of heat flowing in there... Uh, so that's the input on that side, the output... We just put that straight there, because that's blowing. That was the that was the output, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the, that's the output. So I've got to pump into the other side. Uh, I think that was connected from the bottom. Right. Uh, I'll need to go outside and do that. Oop. While I'm out there, uh, 
I have my I do have my volume pump. There we go. And I should grab my mining belt. Right, that is all still switched on. And have you Yeah, I got a few things. Okay, a bit more nitrogen. Actually, only forty percent. It's fine. That's going down. We're fine. Uh, you'll all just be lost. Now you uh, haven't cooled down yet. Well, you've liquefied everything. You got to liquefy. There's not much pressure in there now. How do you get nitrous in there? Um, oh, ah, okay. Carbon dioxide will also explode the system, so I can't expose that one to space. Uh, right. Getting nitrogen in there now. Oh, this hasn't liquefied yet. Okay, so currently... <laughs> volatiles it should be able to expose to space it's minus 170 degrees I think we found we had out here what's our oxygen that should have cooled down by now 172 I think that's as low as it goes about 100 Kelvin so minus 172 Celsius so if I have uh, our gases Oxygen. So 100 Kelvin is safe for oxygen. Uh, it is safe for volatiles, I think it is. Uh, where are we? 100 K is safe for volatiles. Um, uh, oxygen, volatiles, and nitrogen. I should be able to get 100k out of as well. Yeah. Right, so I should be able to expose them, uh, both gas and liquid, to space and not have them explode. But the maximum temperature of any of those ones is nowhere near room temperature right but I think I could use the volatiles that should be able to overlap with the pollutant by a tiny little bit so I could use the liquid volatiles to cool down the pollutant down to here without it exploding. And I can use my pollutant to cool down the room. Uh, so, that's the only one, 82. How do we go with nitrogen? I could use nitrogen. That goes down to minus 90. That won't freeze a pollutant. The oxygen, no, that will. 
Okay. So I could use... I freeze a heap of liquid nitrogen, because I've got plenty of that and I don't consume it. I could use that to liquefy my carbon dioxide. And, well, and... The nitrogen, I can use that to cool my pollutant. My pollutant can then use to, use to cool, cool the carbon dioxide and the nitrous. And the water, if we want. Okay. So that's how we go. So I need to collect a heap of nitrogen and probably just pump that into big radiators and um, use that as my coolant. Okay, we can do that. So I want to collect the nitrous and pollutant without cooling. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that. Uh, so we shall rearrange them. So I can collect volatiles, nitrogen and oxygen, expose them to space. They will liquefy and be not explodey. And then use those ones, either the nitrogen or the volatiles, to then cool down the other ones. That should work. I'll dug a hole in a very bad space there, haven't I? Uh... Right, now, the Stirling engine. That's what I came out of here for. Uh, well, this, that's the output. Can I just suck that through there? Okay, so if I... Oh, you out of there. Put in the volume pump. So that's the output, so it'll have to be going downwards. Other downwards, there we go. I'll face it inwards so I can see what we're doing. Put that there. Right, now if I click you up. Right, okay. Awesome, we're dark again. Oh, it's 11 degrees. I'll put that on as a heater. So I want a... Uh, a housing... and a chip I've got there. Uh, where's my computer gone? There it is. And C configuration. You do I have a pressure input on that one there? No, I don't. I'm just sucking it out of this. So that should be fine. I don't think I'll explode the pipe. See that over there. Still 17 degrees, so we still cool things down. Now, I want to put you uh, there, I'll do. Now, I will I want to know. Uh, boop, you, you. I should want to know the... Oh, I didn't name it. Well, yes, I'll have to go out and name it. So I want to know the gas sensor, the... 
the Sterling engine and the volume That's on a different circuit, isn't it? Oh. Um, right. Right. You're no longer on a different circuit. I'll have to go outside and name it, though. Right, so the pump on the Sterling engine. You're the cooler pump. Uh, you've got no battery. Well done. The cooler pump. And you are the... Sterling pump. check and see if that actually works. If I... Oh, I should go just... Okay, that kind of didn't... Or does that pump it through on its own? Oh! Shit. Okay. Wrong card. Okay, so it is going down in temperature. Right. Uh, that's okay. That's how it's meant to be going. Okay, now I want to read that. Uh, so you are the... Sterling engine, Sterling pump. We got the sensor, the sterling engine, and the sterling pump. Right. Now I should want to alias the sensor. D zero alias the sterling D one and alias the um pump to D two. Let's uh, load into R0 from the sensor the temperature. I shall set. I shall put a P controller. So I shall uh, subtract. R0 will be. It comes on when it's low. So we shall put on our set point for the temperature at. Uh, so 50 degrees, perhaps, so if we say 3, uh, 27, that's 50 degrees, isn't it? Minus R0. So, uh, plus or minus that, that'll give us a setting for the volume pump. I may have to apply a change that one so if it's 10 degrees once it gets within 10 degrees of that it will start to shut down 
Okay, so I also want to shut off when the pressure in the Stirling engine gets too high. So load into R0. Uh, I'm using R0. So load into R1. From the Stirling, the pressure. So once again, a P controller. We shall uh, subtract. It comes on when it's low. So if we set our set point of 9,000. So, uh, R1, you fool. Right, so come on when the pressure is low. Now that's a big number, so I might just uh, divide that one by 10. Hundred. <laughs> so if it is a megapascal below that, it'll come on at full speed. Okay. And now I should also want it to come turn down as the power goes too high. So it's producing more than eight kilowatts. No point having it on. So load into R uh, two from the Sterling, the power generation. Cool. Uh, once again, we shall come on when it's low. So subtract R2 from 8,000 is our maximum. R2. So as it drops lower, come on higher. That's 8,000, so if it's sitting at 7,000, go full speed, 10. So we want to divide that by 100 as well. Divide uh, R2, R2 by 100. Right, so I've got three settings there. It'll be want the speed to be controlled by whichever one is the lowest. So I shall take the minimum R zero with the minimum of R zero and R one, and also the minimum of that and R two. So whatever the lowest of those triggers there should be, uh, what goes to the um i want the temperature in the i've got the temperature in the room that should be what goes to the pump let's save to the pump this is setting r0 i shall load into r0 from the sterling yeah, uh, sterling on is it switched on save that to the pump on uh, zero now the sterling engine is switched on switch the pump on sterling engine is off switch the pump off and that should control the speed of it uh jump to the start let's see how we go um export and we shall watch this one pretty closely. That did change it there. Changed it to what? Uh, you. Changed it to 10. We're on the full speed. Now, if I put you on, that immediately went down again. Okay, that has shut off. The pumps, pumps gone back to switched off. Uh, it is staying off. The temperature continues to rise in there. Uh, I've 
already got too much hot gas in there. Let's let that cool down a bit again and have another go. Uh, yeah, it's still going up. I see ninety four. Uh, it's still rising very quickly. Okay, um, that might take a few goes. So I've currently got too much gas in that pipe there. Once that all cools down, uh, it should start to stabilize. Yeah, that's, that's, that's still just rising, isn't it? We're going up by three degrees each tick. Uh, damn. Going up as quick. Stabilizing slowly. Yeah, oh, the power's dropping off, it's really slowing down. Temperature is almost stopped, rising almost. That's almost stopped rising. That might actually work. I don't know how much power it's outputting, but um, pressure is going down again now. Now, if I switch that to temperature in the room, from the gas sensor I wanted the pressure there is pressure in there pressure there we go 142 yeah probably a little higher than I want Temperature is now going down, the pressure is going down. If I get the power generation out of you, getting four kilowatts. That's getting four kilowatts just off the heat that's in the pipe there. Right, so is that actually sucking heat out of here? It is. Ah, crap. Okay, so that's why it's taken so long. Ah, uh, so uh, I mean, that's that vent is switched off. That is stopping anything coming out of the output. This must just be sucking all the power from the input. Um. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> oh well, um, that did not do what it was meant to do. But it's going. 
I shall have to rethink that one and see how we go. Uh, I shall need to reset that to start collecting bulk nitrogen and put in some bulk cooling on the other ones. And it's separate out you, you, you. And the other three can all cool down. Yeah, okay, we should do that. I shall rework them. I need to get some insulated tanks. I shall need to get probably some bulk gas storage. Uh, so some gas tanks, some insulated liquid tanks. Uh, these ones here. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do something from there. Well, that's about all we've got time for today. That was uh, semi-successful. I've gotten past my gardening issues and I think we're good to go now. Uh, so that'll do us. Uh, uh, anyway, that was... That's where I held my battery, wasn't it? Yep, you go there. Ah, get rid of that. Right, that's about it for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.